Guys, hope all is well with you on this Thursday morning. I uh, want to talk to you about a, uh, a series that uh, got set from last night, and that is going to be the uh, Atlanta Hawks uh, going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, this one is going to be very, very interesting uh, because I think it's going to all rest on the right knee of one Joel Embiid. Got a small tear in the meniscus there. Said They say that it's not going to require surgery. It's going to be all about physical therapy and pain tolerance. I'm sure they're going to be doing everything they can for his knee to help him get it right uh, and get it get it ready to roll there for this series. Um, I expect him to be out there in game one um, for the against uh, up against the Hawks there. And uh, hopefully he can stay healthy throughout the series. Now, this one's a tough one for me. Uh, just for the simple fact that um, this, this Hawks team is lively. Uh, they're playing uh, pretty well, uh, and it's hard to know if it was more of a result of the New York Knicks uh, just not answering the bell, or was it more because the Atlanta Hawks were just that good? Um, I'm going to say I'm going to err to the side of I think the New York Knicks didn't answer the bell honestly. Uh, and the reason why I say that is, is because the Atlanta Hawks, I've watched them all regular season and it's not like they've played at this level all regular season. So you're going to have to show me a little bit more for me to actually believe that that is who you really are. Um, I think the Knicks just, the moment was too much for them. And I think they had a real, really bad game plan and they didn't really adjust well. And that caused them to end up getting beat the way that they did. Not saying that the Hawks weren't better because obviously they, they were significantly better. Uh, they were definitely a lot better than I thought they were uh, as far as up against the New York Knicks. Now, uh, the Philadelphia 76ers are legit. They are legit. Uh, they are the real deal. They showed last night uh, that even without Joel Embiid, they're very formidable uh, and they're definitely lively with or without him. Obviously, with him, they're they're on an elite level. Without him, they're still a very, very good team. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to take the Philadelphia 76ers to win this series in six games. I believe the Philadelphia 76ers are significantly better than the New York Knicks. I think Joel Embiid finds a way to play in this series. I think he finds a way to play pretty well in this series. And I like the uh, Philadelphia 76ers to get this home. Uh, I really studied this, uh, did a deep dive on this last night uh, on a pretty high level there. Um, I think the major issue that, that Atlanta's going to have in this series more than anything else, especially if Joel Embiid is able to go, uh, which I believe he will, which is, you know, I'm basing this, um, basing this pick on him being there. Um, I think he will be there. I think it's a small, small injury unless he, you know, ends up getting injured in another way. He's going to be there. But I think the, the big X factor in this series that's going to make all the difference is going to be Clint Capella. And the reason why reason I say that is is because Joel Embiid is a is a big that can shoot the basketball. So you really don't have any choice uh, as, if you're the Hawks but to come out outside. The Knicks are a very traditional team. They really didn't have bigs that could really shoot the ball and stretch the floor the same way uh, Joel Embiid can. So Clint Capella was able to, to kind of camp out in the lane, clog it up, uh, you know, and, and stop all the dribble penetration and help off his guy because, you know, the reality of it is is that he didn't really have to be concerned too much about lobs because the New York Knicks centers are not overly athletic. So you really don't have to be concerned with lob, and you don't have to be concerned with any outside shooting. You have to be concerned with that with Philadelphia. And that's going to be the difference in this series, and I think that's going to make it to where Atlanta's going to really, really struggle on the defensive end. They're going to be going up against a team that's a lot better defensively than what the New York Knicks are, um, and I think it's going to be a real problem for them. I think, you know, a lot of the things that helped them out in the New York Knicks series is that the Knicks really couldn't score. And they couldn't score because Clint Capella was doing a great job with the rim protection and clogging the lane up uh, because, again, he didn't have to honor the Todd Gibsons of the world, the New Orleans Noel of the world. He didn't have to worry about those guys. So in that, in that vein, 
Atlanta's going to have a very hard time with this. Um, and I think Trey Young's going to have a very hard time uh, guarding. Guys like Tobias Harris, they're going to get the switch on him. Uh, and that's going to be a very, very, very hard matchup for him uh, to be dealing with. So I will take, uh, again, Philadelphia in six games, guys. Um, it uh, you know They're favored in the series, so I mean, it doesn't really pay out a whole lot if you take Philadelphia in this series. But if you take them in six, um, I think it's paying three to one. So uh, that's what that's what I got, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. As always, it is always such a pleasure, um, you know, doing these videos and spending this time with you guys. I really appreciate all of it. Um, we were able to keep the train rolling last night. Went three and one, so it's always good stuff. But uh, with all that being said, guys. Let me know what you think, who you got in this series, and why in the comments. And, uh, hey, we'll keep it rolling. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.